here's the ingredients for my cream cheese free dirt cake. Do as I say, not as I do, because I did not mean to get sugar free vanilla pudding. It's what I have, but really what I would like to have is two of these smaller boxes. Two boxes of pudding with four cups of milk. We're gonna get that really nice and blended. Then we'll let it sit for five minutes. After we do that, we're going to add in a third cup of powdered sugar. Once that is mixed, we are going to stir it really well with whip topping and let that sit together. We are also going to crush a package and a half of Oreos. I am going to crush these in my Ninja blender. By crushing these in the Ninja blender, you get the dirt look. And then we are going to layer the Oreo with the pudding mixture and we're going to get the dirt Look, I'm putting it in a glass bowl so we can see it. Okay, this is totally a personal preference, but I like to have the double stuff because I'd rather have more cream filling than cookie, but you can do either one. Okay, here's the rest of the dirt. So two boxes of pudding to four cups milk, blend real well, stir for two minutes and let it sit for at least five, and then we'll add in more. I have a pretty large heaping scoop of a third of powdered sugar. If I was not using a sugar-free pudding, I'd only use a quarter cup, but I'm gonna mix this in. My pudding's been sitting for a bit. Just gonna mix that in nicely. Now that I mixed that together and it's been sitting for a few minutes, I'm gonna add in my thawed whipped cream. I'm gonna just dump the entire tub and I will mix it I do still have some lumps in here, but I'm not particularly worried. You can get your mixer out, but I just prefer to do this by hand. It's going to sit for four hours, and I really don't find any issues with not having a perfectly smooth consistency. But we're going to get that this whole container in there and mix it together. I'm using my favorite pig spatula. It just fits in the palm of my hand so perfectly. A little guy that does big work. Okay, so I now have my two layers of dirt cake, my Oreos, and then the pudding mixture, and we're gonna just layer it, and you'll end up seeing on the sides it layered with Oreo pudding, Oreo pudding. I'm also going to make one single cup of it so you can see how I make it for individual portions. And I sometimes, like, if I make this for kids, I like to make chocolate covered gummy worms and then put the gummy worms in the dirt cake. But this is actually for my birthday, so I'm actually gonna put fake flowers on top or fake succulents because that's a little more 35 than gummy worms, but I'm gonna put it all together now. So you can basically fill them how little or however much you want, top them how you want. But this is a good example of an individual cup. These are actually really great to take to school for kids' uh, birthdays or for parties, really easy to serve when they're individually ready like this. If you're worried it's not pretty enough, remember it's meant to look like dirt. As you're layering, one thing you want to remember is you want to end with the Oreo on top. So take that into account as you're distributing your stuff. So I have one more layer of pudding I'm going to put on and then I will top it with the rest of the Oreo. If you have any leftover Oreo, if you have too much, you can always save it for Sundays. So once your dirt cake is assembled, you wanna refrigerate it for a number of hours. So I made mine before dinner. We're gonna have dinner and eat cake later. So three, four hours, you'll be all set. Into the fridge. <laughs> 